Hello everyone, these are Pachado Fruit Beetles or Pacnado Fruit Beetles, I'm not too sure uh, how to pronounce it. And they're from West Africa. And they're also known as Flower Chaffer Beetles or Flower Chaffer Beetles because some types of fruit beetles eat flowers as well as fruit. And uh, they're also considered as a pest in West Africa, th th these ones, because uh, I'm not, uh, or the other, uh, other fruit beetles because they eat flowers. Um, but also the they pollinate flowers um, or fruit, so they're not just pests, they help the environment as well. So like bees pollinate things like these do as well. And you, you can get them in two different types of colours. You get you get um, yellow and black and yellow and brown as you can see. And they've got two spots on the back. And these are one of the quickest uh, uh, fruit beetles to hatch from a cocoon and a grub. They've got the turn into a beetle quicker and the life cycles like it about a year but I've been told the beetles are like for three months but I've had them longer than that I must have had them for <coughs> three to five months and how you restrain these you, you pick them up by the side you have to grab them like that but it only works for a, a second or two so you have to be quick but I just do them to get out them out but the best way is to turn them on the back it won't, it won't kill them or anything. I've they've been flipped over before. They flipped themselves over and been there for ages. When I first got them, I thought they were molting or something, but they just flipped over. So you, if they flip over, just turn them over because it's hard for them to get back over. But it won't kill them, I don't think, because it's been on one of them's been over for like hours on end. But the best way is to flip them over on the back and then you can turn it over when it's on your hand and then pick it up if it's turned over <coughs> and uh, you can also fly as well so watch out when they fly try not to get them too high like they are at the moment but when they're on the end of something like that or if you put your finger high like that like that then they uh, then they can f then they turn to fly and they, they lift up the back legs when they fly so they lift up and as you can see they're having a bit of a nibble you can nibble quite a bit. I won't let them nibble you too much because it can <coughs> uh, take a bit of skin off. But it takes ages for it to do that. As you can see, it's biting me loads. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Um, and also, if you turn them over, I would watch out for because this acid comes off them. It won't affect you. You can wash your hands. It will still smell, but it will clean it off. Because they've got like a gland in the anus, which is the bum. If you don't know what that is, if you're from a different country and. Um, Oh, it's from somewhere near the bum, uh, this gland, and acid comes out of that. So if something tries to eat it, I think it spews that acid out so it won't get eaten, which is a really good defence system, I think. Well, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.